Okay, a leak code 206, reverse a linked list. In this problem, you're given a head to a linked list and you want to reverse it and return the new head. Um, weirdly, this problem is actually easier to be done iteratively than done recursively. Um, and you'll see why in a second. So let's actually jump in and do the actual um, iterative solution first. So we see here, we have a linked list, right? And we wanna turn this from one, two, three, four, five to five, four, three, two, one with a connection to null at the end, right? And well, how do we do that, right? Because intuitively you would think, okay, cool, I'm gonna go through everything. Like I'm gonna have a traversal head right here and I'm gonna just connect things behind me, right? Well, if I do that without doing any extra work, when I make my connection, right? Let's say I say, okay, well, cool, two, Let's have two point to one. Well, what you should have done, you just, you severed this connection here to three. So now when you try to move to next, you're gonna accidentally move back. Or you're gonna, you're gonna be stuck in this cycle forever. So there's gonna be a little bit of extra work we have to do. And that's basically gonna be, we're gonna have this head called, this traversal head called current. And then I'm gonna have another head called uh, previous. Cool. And I'm gonna use the purple color to indicate a copy being made. Like it's, it's gonna be a pointer that's made as a copy. So in this case, let's say we start here. Pointer is pointing to null, right? And so we're at one. The first thing we wanna do initially, right? Because we care about this connection. We wanna keep it for the future. So we make a copy of this connection as a pointer. So we say, okay, remember that one points to two. And now I can safely say this. I can say, okay, current, which is one, gets to point to previous. There we go. And now, because we just did that, let's let the previous pointer move to the current position and let the current position take advantage of that purple copy we made and move forward to the current, right? And this is gonna re repeat over and over and over. So again, here, we're gonna make this copy, right? We're gonna make a copy. We're gonna make our connection. So two goes to one to the previous node previous nodes job is now done we get to move up right current now gets to go here right and the copy keeps getting made right we do this over and over and over until eventually current hits null right and previous is going to be like here in which case we return previous right because ideally we're going to have all these connections already made like this right easy let's code it up okay let's take a look so, right, as we talked about, we're gonna have list node pointer current, that's gonna be equal to the head, that's gonna be used to travel. We have a list node pointer previous, it's gonna be equal to null pointer, because what's before the head? Well, nothing, the head is the head, it's the front. So while current, we'll basically say, um, list node pointer, right, this is that purple arrow we talked about, and this is that copy we're making right here. So we're gonna say next, uh, copy is going to be equal to current next. Awesome. And now we're going to say um, current next is going to be equal to previous. Previous is going to get to move up, right? Previous's job is done. Previous gets to move up to the current position. And then current is going to be equal to that copy we made, right? We're going to take advantage of that copy because we're pointing to the next thing. So we're gonna say, okay, well, where's that purple copy? Next copy, awesome. And now we're gonna just return uh, previous. Because previous is what ends up being at the very end. Cool. So what do we do here? Let's run it. You see I already ran it, so I know it's gonna pass. <laughs> Cool, ran, we're gonna submit, awesome, runs. Let's talk, let's talk about complexity. Runtime, this is O of N, right? Because no matter what you do, you have to go through this linked list. There's no way around that. Um, space complexity, it's O of one, right? We're only ever initiating, we're using up memory for these two things right here, and we're only ever using memory for this thing right here, but it only, it only exists within the scope of this while statement, right? So it's not like we keep making more and more memory as, uh, uh, sorry, it's not like we're requesting more and more memory as this grows. So it's O1. Now let's get into the recursive solution because it's really, really weird and tricky. So let's try to undo all this. 
Let's undo all that. Cool. So the recursive idea, like always, recursion has this idea of base cases, right? And and usually the base case is like you've reached null or we've reached the thing just before null. So in this case, it would be like we go through this list, right? The recursive call starts here naturally. And then we keep passing in, we keep doing the recursive step over. So we pass in dot next, dot next, dot next, dot next until we hit this, right? Because the next thing here is going to be a null. Um, so the idea here is though, is that we're going to basically, once we hit the end, right, we're going to make the connection to the thing before, but we're also going to pass the head, right? So we're going to say, okay, well, five is the head, right? Cause it's the last, it's the very, very last element. And we want that to be the front. So we make this connection, pass this back, make this connection, pass this back, make this connection, pass this back, right? And then maybe we'll have a connection here to null and the head's going to be five. And then this is actually what's going to get returned, right? Because the call came from here, but we were going to return this, right? Because that's going to be our new head. So it's going to be five, four, three, two, one, null. So let's code this up. Um, it's kind of weird to explain. It's a really weird solution. So let's just reset the code. Okay, so let's implement this. So our base case, as we talked about, if there's no head or there's no head next, we're just going to return a head. Oh, sorry. I forgot this. There we go. Do that. Otherwise, we're going to store the results of that recursive call because we're going to be making here. So list node pointer new head. It's going to be called reverse list on um, head next, right? We're going to go deeper until we hit this base case. And this is the weird step, right? We're going to say head next, next is equal to the head. <laughs> like this is really, really weird. And I think this is the best way that I can explain it. I've seen. So let's undo all this. So let's say we are currently here, right? So we're at four, but the connection to five still exists. So what we want to say is that head next, so the five next. So this is five. This is the first next this is the first head dot next. But the next of five, right? So we wanna, so we know the next of five currently points to null. So this is the next we wanna change. So we say, okay, well, that next should be pointing back to me, right? So this is basically us reversing uh, this block in here, right? So we're making that reversal happen, right? Same thing with this. If we're here at three, we're going to access, okay, what's next? Four is next. But then what's four pointing to? What's, what's four next pointing to, right? We want four instead of pointing to whatever it was pointing to, we want it to point back to us, back to our head. That's what we have. Here we have head next, next is equal to the original head, right? And that's all we really need to do. And then after that, we have one more step. I think it's head next is just equal to a null pointer right we want because we just want to point it to null because eventually right as as we go through that reversal we're going to point back to a null pointer and at the end of this all we're just going to return that new head like i said this it's very very tricky um but once you kind of see the trick it kind of makes more sense let's submit this cool it runs um, I definitely prefer the iterative solution compared to this one. <laughs> um, this one took me quite a while to kind of get. Um, um, but yeah, I hope this video helped.